First World War, the last to load. They are at the post. And they're off in the Castle and Key Bourbon Stakes. There's noted for the early lead. Fortune Seller is there. Vote no between that pair. Nomos moves up from the center of the course along with Double Your Money. Fortune Seller now moves up, has the lead. Nomos will go second. Noted back toward the inside is traveling in third against the rail into the first turn. Vote no is fourth alongside that one. Double Your Money far outside moves up a couple of spots from the fifth position as they swing around that first turn. First World War, out toward the center of the course, moves up into the sixth position. Will be caught about five wide at the exit of the turn. Palm Tree is shuffled back toward the inside in seventh. Depiction travels between horses eighth. Coin Miner ninth. Tok Tok is racing in tenth. And then Gorilla Trek, who is next to last, and Can Group is last of the 12 as they make their way up the back stretch in the Castle and Key Bourbon. Back up front, Fortune Seller has the lead against the rail, only by a half length. Double your money, second by a length. First World War picks them up third, but has to go wide over to the far turn. Noted is fourth, right behind the leader, down toward the inside. And then Vote No, who's caught wide, still five lengths from the front. No most between horses. Palm Tree against the rail is still seven from the front. It is Fortune Seller, Double Your Money, First World War. Vote No to the center of the course from fourth quarter mile to go. Noted in behind horses. And then No Most, who has to go out with Coin Miner toward the center of the course. Noted will join them on the outside. Gorilla Trek trying to run from last in the center of the course. Up front, though, it is Double Your Money with a narrow lead. Double Your Money. First World War, vote no. Noted is coming late. Here is Noted. Here is Can Group. Noted, Can Group at the wire. Head bobbing photo for the win in the Castle and Key Bourbon. Either Can Group or Noted for the top spot. Well, what, while we may not know who won this race, I can tell you one person that thinks they did. That's Francisco Arietta because he gave a big fist bump after they crossed the wire, and he's aboard Can Group. He's trying to reel in many of these horses, but he's going to able to hook up with Noted, and those are the two that are involved in this very close photo finish. Noted got the jump and was closing beautifully, but boy, Can Group made up a ton of ground there. Very, very close to the finish. Head bobs uh, inside, outside, inside. Looks like maybe Francisco Arietta, but very close to call. Another tight finish on the Keeneland Turf Course, this time in the Grade 2 Castle and Key Bourbon Stakes. The unofficial results of Keeneland's 10th race in the photo for the win. Number four, Can Group, was first. Number five, Noted, was second. Number six, Vote No, third. The 12 First World War was fourth. And number eight, Talk Talk, fifth. Four, five, six, 12, eight, unofficial.
the unofficial winner of Keeneland's 10th race, 33rd running of the Castle and Key Bourbon Grade 2 Win and You're In, Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Division No. 4 Can Group. Owned by the DJ Stable LLC of Leonard Green, owned also by Cassius King, Charles Zachney, and others. Mark Cassie, the trainer, Francisco Arietta, the jockey. Can Group, a two-year-old son of Good Samaritan, out of Blue Galena by Street Sense, bred in Kentucky by Wednesday Incorporated, and Allen Poindexter. Mile and a sixteenth over the turf-listed firm in the Castle and Key Bourbon, number four, Can Group. Now the trophy presentation for the Castle and Key Bourbon, a win and you're in Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Division race, presenting the trophy, Will Arvin, owner and founder of Castle and Key Distillery. Presenting to the Connections, 